Howdy, this is Jordan Sassel with demoing one of my new projects called Finger Pokin. It's on uh, GitHub. Uh, the main point of this project was to be able to direct presentations without having to be tethered or go back to my laptop every time I want to change slides. Um, so the tools used are just the mobile Safari on iPad and, I and I iPhone. Um, and it uses the, what, one of the new features in iOS 4, uh, finally added support for WebSockets. Um, and let's see. So here is a little demo. Let me see. Okay, you can see that. Uh, dragging around works like a normal touchpad. Um, you can click on things. You can double click, double click drag. Uh, you can right click. You can two finger drag up and down. We'll be scrolling up and down. Uh, you can three three finger tap is. Uh, let's see, is middle click, so if we want to do read more, open it and open that in a new tab, three fingers, opens up in a new tab, and we don't want that. So uh, as I mentioned, the original reason for this was for directing presentations. So here's an example of the HTML5 rocks presentation, uh, and these two errors at the top are left and right. So we can direct the presentation this way if we need to. Um, I also added typing support. Uh, so if you need to, for some reason, or y for some reason you need to want to type stuff, um, you can use the uh, 90 degree rotation, two fingers, rotate 90 degrees, pops up a text area. If you try typing into it, it should type into your screen. And let's Google for Wikipedia. Return works as you might expect. And here we are at Wikipedia. You can scroll up and down, do whatever. Uh, what else can we do? Um, oh, since you can bookmark web apps on the iPhone to your home screen, this actually works pretty well for making it seem like more of a native app. You can click Add to Home Screen, finger poke in, Add. There it is on my home screen. If I click it, uh, the iPhone is smart enough to try and reload the page from the server. So if we ever update the code, it changes. It it gets new, the new version, and then now we're click connected again, and it looks more like a native app. It doesn't have that um, Safari scroll bar at the top. And everything still works as expected. Uh, also works on the iPad. Let me try and get that loaded. Let's see. A little bit hard to see. We'll put it down and make it look like a real touchpad. So everything still works. And if I wanted to double click and then 90 degree rotation, type, and now I've replaced my keyboard with an iPad. Uh, return, hooray.